Here we are at Beaver Island. There's no better place at the end of the day than to come to Beaver Island and have a beer with friends. And I'm here with Nick, the owner. Tell me a little bit about Beaver Island's history. Yeah, sure. So uh, we've been here, we just celebrated our sixth anniversary. Mm. We are a manufacturing brewery that also has a tap room. So we make beer in cans and kegs and sell it to bars and restaurants and liquor stores. But we also have this great tap room for the community to come and share and do events and taste our beer. And how has the last year affected you? It, you know, it's affected everyone in many ways, but tell us some of the highs and lows. Yeah, 2020 was a real challenge professionally, right? And, and we're not alone, as you mentioned. Um, a lot of our business is bars and restaurants, as I mentioned, and is our tap room. And so having those two legs kind of cut out from underneath us for part of 2020 was a real challenge. But personally, it was a great year, right? I had a lot more freedom and a lot more time to spend with family and friends and try to do some different activities. So some of the highs were, um, again, personally, and some of the lows were unfortunately professionally. But um, I think we really learned a lot about our business and we learned a lot about our relationships inside of our business and the people and how committed we are to our team and how committed our team is to us. And so there were some real strong bonds built in 2020 and the, the theme kind of, you know, we're all in this together it really banded true through our entire organization and through much of our supply chain. So what, what do you envision going forward for 2021 and how, how has your business changed or what changes are you making to grow in 2021? 2020 was the challenge as I mentioned and 2021 almost seems like a new book, not a new chapter. Um, one of the realizations that we had to come to as a company is we unfortunately aren't just a beer company. We are a beverage manufacturing company, and we really needed to pivot and look at some of the different opportunities in the market, things that we could do, whether it was in a liquor store, in a bar, restaurant, in our tap room, to kind of grow our customer base, grow our portfolio, and um, kind of regain the momentum that we had walking into 2020. Well, I'm confident you will do that. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, thanks. I appreciate the vote of confidence. <laughs> Another question I have for you is what advice would you give for other businesses who are struggling? Uh, you know, I, I see so many that are maybe just on the brink of hanging on and, and really struggling to hang in there. What advice would you give to them? Great question. And you know, about 30% of our customers are bars and restaurants and obviously they shared in a lot of the struggles we shared, but not just as exclusive to bars and restaurants. So many businesses have been impacted uh, by this. And my advice would be a, you have to figure out when to cut bait. You can't hang on to something forever, and that is okay, it's not failure. I read a great quote uh, early on in the pandemic, and it was, you didn't cause this. I did not cause a global pandemic. I've done everything in my power to pivot and to try to grow through it, um, but there is a time at which you have to let go. If you're not ready for that step yet, you have to do the opposite. You gotta bear down. You gotta figure out how you can stay lean and stay, and stay um, agile. Because I think if you think that everything's going to go back to normal, you know, May 15th or July 4th or whatever date it is, it's not. And I don't like the phrase new normal. It doesn't feel good. I don't, I don't wanna talk about the new normal. I wanna talk about moving forward. And moving forward, we have to be ready for anything that comes at us and any change. And as I alluded earlier, becoming a beverage company allows us that flexibility as trends change, as people have new ideas, innovation. We can follow either the trend or lead through innovation and uh, grow through that capacity. How does a sweet miss coffee vanilla sound? Oh, that sounds fabulous. Cheers. Cheers to 2021. 2021. We're ready for you.